are fortunate here in Montana to live in nature. Deer, elk, moose can often be seen regularly around the area and sometimes in our yards. Sometimes other animals venture into our world, however. I recently sat down with Paradise Valley filmmaker Casey Anderson as he shared his story of just such an encounter. Here's a clip of our Face to Stay with Casey Anderson talking about his new show, The Mountain Lion and Me. And to be filming one of the most elusive animals on the planet and to tell that story. Hmm. And here's an animal that we don't know much about. So every second that unfolded in front of us was something new. We were learning all the time as we, as we were watching this unfold. Including, we, many of us know that mountain lions stash their food. They cache it away for later times. Uh, but finding it in the, a crazy place on your property, to say the least. Yeah, you know, it's one of those things. When you think about a wild animal, when they're born into this world, in some way we believe that they kind of live in this pristine wilderness. But since the day that this cat was born, you know, there's cliffs, there's trees, there's streams, there's fences, there's roads, and there's this old ghost town, kind of an old homestead down the road, that she started to utilize to hunt and to cache her food. And this is something that she just does. She doesn't know that it's out of the ordinary. This is just what a mountain lion does in her mind, and this is, this is her home. It couldn't have worked out better for a filmmaker, though, to have her start stashing this on buildings on your property. Smithsonian Channel actually providing us some video. We're going to play some of that right now. And just talk to me through this as we're looking at this video. You set up cameras in these buildings to take a look at it specifically. Let's roll that video and take a look at it here, Casey, as you're Near unfolding. the edge of my property. So telling a story like this, you know, it's one of those things. If you set up a camera trap and just get a few seconds of behavior, mm -hmm. but nobody's that's one lived thing. There for mm -hmm. years. But as a filmmaker and a storyteller and really trying to do it in a cinematic way, house. imagine this, one of the most elusive animals on the planet deciding to use this ghost ranch, as we call it, mm -hmm as a place yeah, to eat. And it's like years. literally this cat going on a Hollywood set. You couldn't, you couldn't create something more beautiful and interesting than this, this ghost ranch. You live in the Paradise Valley. You've done your work all around Yellowstone, that whole kind of area. But I mean, literally, this is, this is your backyard. We're not talking about a car trip. You didn't have to pack a lunch. This is just down the hill from where you live. Yeah, I mean, I would travel hundreds of miles a day sometimes just looking for a track. Mm -hmm. I walk out the door and there'd be a track literally on my front step and that's where my day would begin. That's where many of these stories would begin every day. Did this surprise you with this, this here? I mean, the fact that she was able, I mean, we, we know they're smart animals. They have to be, they're cunning, they're secretive and all of that, but the ability for her to use that building as a cache, I mean, did, was that the beginning of the, uh, the discovery you had of this uh, cat? It blew my mind. You know, I always speculate, I bet you animals use those old buildings for something. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's simply thinking like shelter or something, right? Mm -hmm. And then going down there and walking in those rooms and looking around and seeing all these remnant carcasses around. It was like walking into a serial killer's basement mm -hmm. in this beautiful place. And then kind of putting two and two together and realizing that she's using these buildings and it's genius. Mm -hmm. By the way, you can catch The Mountain Lion and Me this Wednesday, 6 p.m. on the Smithsonian Channel. You can also watch our full interview with Casey Anderson. Uh, just head over to our websites. We're going to take a quick break. More headlines and your forecast coming up in just 10 minutes.